I'm living life without limits, no gimmicks, faster than flash, smashing the gas when I pass, when I go get it, stacking up cash while I lack, I'm in the back of the class, gas pedal slammed down, nailed to the ground, next level, six figures is broken speed limits, old goals are now slow, those are old digits, updated systems that don't overload, they can hold and manage the damage when I go, so I know that I can roll with it. Happy Vlogsmas 2022, and I just want to say, I love you. That was a little rhyme I just made up in my head. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a little while since we did a long-form video like this. We've been rocking out on reels and shorts and all the good stuff that's been happening on short-form video platforms over the last couple months. We exploded in growth. We went from about 3,000 followers on Facebook to about 945,000, between 940 and 950,000. And on TikTok, we have about 600,000 followers. So if you haven't followed me on those two platforms, definitely go ahead and check them out. We do a lot of short-form videos there. But guys, this is Vlogsmith. We're gonna do one video every single day until Christmas in hopes that you will be more engaged in this community and maybe share our videos out with your friends and on your social media platforms. In this video today, guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about Elon Musk. The guy's literally gone mad. He's gone batty, he's gone out of his mind. And guys, I say that because the dude runs multiple, multiple billion dollar companies. He's got SpaceX. Right, he's launching rockets to the, you know, to Mars and to the outer space on a regular basis, you know. He's got contracts with NASA, okay? He's got the boring company where he's tunneling uh, these big, huge, massive holes underneath cities to move different things and eventually cars are gonna be able to go in there and transport back and forth as well. And then he's got Tesla. Guys, Tesla is the electric car company but the cool thing about Tesla is they're not just focused on cars. They're actually doing trucks. They just released their first semi. Guys, their first semi, and they dropped off the first semi at Coca-Cola. And so Coca-Cola is going to be, I guess, beta testing it. I don't know what you call it, but they're going to be driving the first Tesla semi. And this last semi that they just tested, they road tested, by the way, went 500 miles without a charge, holding a, a load of about... Geez, I don't know, 81,000 pounds. But what else is he doing, guys? Uh, he just bought Twitter. I mean, think about that for a second. Multi, multi eight-figure deal. The guy bought Twitter, and from my perspective, he's on Twitter more than he is any other platform. As a matter of fact, I, th I don't even think he has a couple. Of, there's a couple of platforms out there, social media platforms, that he doesn't even have a presence on. I, think, I don't even think he has TikTok. Um, I know he does have Instagram and Facebook, but... The guy doesn't use those, he uses Twitter. That's what he uses Twitter for. He uses Twitter like on a regular basis, but the guy tweets more than Donald Trump, okay? Speaking of, and this is part of the update, Elon Musk recently reinstated a ton of banned accounts on Twitter. He reinstated Donald Trump for one, and he reinstated a whole bunch of Republicans or, or conservative accounts that got banned for reasons unbeknownst to us, but they got banned. He also reinstated people like Andrew Tate, who was a huge, huge topic uh, uh, recently over the last few months for being banned all across social media. I mean, all the way down to his bank accounts getting banned. But he reinstated Cobra Tate is what they call him. They reinstated the top G. They reestablished Kanye West, AKA also known as Yee. But... Unfortunately, just within the last 24 hours of making this video, he also got banned again. Kanye is a whole nother video that we'll do. Maybe we'll do that in the next couple vlogmas videos, but Kanye's lost his damn mind too. And then what just happened today, which is uh, December 2nd, this is vlogmas number two, is Elon Musk just dropped or allowed somebody to drop what they're calling the Twitter files. Now the Twitter files, if you don't know, actually came from a guy, Matt Taibbi, T-A-I-B-B-I. Now I've never personally heard of this guy, but apparently he's the author of Griftopia, The Divide, The Business Secrets of Drug Dealing, and Hate.Inc. But the guy just dropped one of the biggest bombs in free speech and that will affect our democracy for a very long time. He just dropped it on Twitter and it's called the Twitter Files and it's basically uncovering how Twitter, before Elon Musk purchased Twitter, how Twitter suppressed 
the Biden, the Hunter Biden laptop story, and basically canceled anybody that was talking about it, revoked tweets that went out about it, and even as far as uh, eliminating or deleting private chat messages between people whenever they said certain things or posted certain links. So this, this story on Twitter is about 36 tweets long. So it was in a big tweet thread. So I'll put a, I'll put a link to this uh, tweet thread in the description of this video. But the guy really goes and shows snapshots of conversations with corporate executives and, and executives within Twitter talking about how they need to suppress this and they need to stop the disinformation from getting out. But all along, it wasn't disinformation. It was real information. But they chalked it up to it was against their rules and their policies about something that had to do with hacking or, or hacked information. But guys, I'll leave that for another video as well. But I say that to say this, Elon Musk, he's insane. And he is exposing a lot. Uh, he's turning Twitter into the one of the most used platforms in, on the internet right now. One of the stats for Twitter recently that Elon Musk just tweeted said, Twitter is now serving almost 90 billion tweet per, uh, impressions per day. He also goes on to say that hate speech impressions are down despite having significant user growth. So what they did is they went and canceled a lot of bogus accounts, a lot of disinformation accounts, a lot of bot accounts, and a lot of that stuff was just spewing negativity out there trying to start controversies. So, so he canceled a lot of accounts, but because he's making this whole big move to a free speech platform, droves and droves and droves of people are coming onto that platform. Guys, so if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, you can go ahead and check out my handle, Mark Casara. I'll leave it in the description as well. You can go ahead and check me out on Twitter. I'd love to get a conversation going. Uh, I'd love to respond to you almost instantly if you if you tweet me on Twitter and uh, maybe respond to one of my tweets. But let's get the follower count up on Twitter. That's it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you joining us. Make sure you stay tuned for the Vlogmas series 2022. And uh, I look forward to serving you guys. I look forward to educating you guys. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Live well, laugh loud, and learn to be a better you. God bless, guys. We'll talk soon.